we shall find here how two motors are used from motor driver IC L293D. This has got two sets of arrangements where one set is input 1, input 2 and output 1, output 2 and other set is input 3 and input 4 and output 3 and output 4. And if you look at the block diagram, then we'll see that if this is high, pin number 2 is high, pin number 3 goes high, if pin number 7 is high, pin number 6 goes high. High and high the motor will not run. Only when one pin is made low here, and if this is high and this is low, this becomes low and this is high, the motor rotates. Provided the enable pin is high, it is very important for the enable pin to be high. The other side also is similar, and uh, we can use two motors for robotic applications. Now if we look at this, and if we simulate this, and this supply is given 12 volt for the motor and 5 volt for the IC. Now if we simulate this, what we find, now see if uh, this enable is made high, and if I make this 1 0, the motor rotates in this direction. Similarly, if I make this enable high, but I make this 1 0, both the motors rotate in forward direction. Now if I want to make uh, into the reverse direction, I make this 0 and so both the motors rotate in the other direction. Provided enable pin is high. If enable pin is made low, the motor stops. If enable pin is made low, the motor stops. So this is how one can think as to how to write the program from the microcontroller so that the motor can be rotated in forward direction like this. Okay, motor can be rotated in forward direction like this or one in forward, one in backward for taking a turn or both in forward direction. This is how we achieve the objective of whether both forward direction, both reverse direction, right wise, left wise, while one motor goes clockwise and other motor goes these are how the considerations that this input will be coming from the microcontroller and we have to choose the write the program accordingly so that the motor operation is achieved.